get back It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a peach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, many more, how they overcome big challenges in life and business. There's no better person to talk about how to overcome big challenges in life and business. Today, we have Dr. Joe Vitale. He's also known as Mr. Fire. He's the founder of Hypnotic Marketing with clients like Red Cross, PBS, many more. He's the author of many best-selling books, over 50, including The Attractor Factor, Zero Limits, my personal favorite. And just in the title alone, Dr. Joe, you'll see see his hypnotic marketing style. And it's called The Power of Outrageous Marketing, Using the Time-Tested Secrets of Titans, Tycoons, and Billionaires to Get Rich in Your Own Business. He's been on Larry King Live, Donnie Deutsch, The Big Idea, CNN, soon to be HBO because he's a strong man, and he was on the hit movie The Secret. Joe, thanks for joining me. Of course. It's uh, it's an honor. I'm flattered to be here. Thanks for inviting me. (sighs) Yeah, and you know, since it's Inspired Insider, I always like to ask two questions. One, what's been the lowest moment, and then how you push forward through it, and then the flip side, the proudest moment. Wow. So, yeah, start off, what's been the lowest moment and how you, you pushed through that time? Well, the lowest moment would be during the struggle years when I'm homeless, desperate, and the world looks black. I don't see anything happening. I'm totally alone. Uh, no car, no place to live, no person I'm with, no friends. And I contemplated suicide wow. at that point. And interesting, the only thing that kept me going was curiosity. Hmm. What if it all changes tomorrow? Really? Next week or next month. So curiosity kind of played into keeping me alive wow. way back before I knew it as a copywriting or psychological technique. Yeah. But uh, curiosity is what kept me going because I really did think that I feel destined to do something you did. with my writing. Yeah. But there's no evidence around me that that's going to happen. Yeah. And so... You get so, I got so bleak and so dark that I felt like, well, maybe I should just pull the plug. Wow. But thinking, what if tomorrow changes or next week or next month or next year? And thank God, because I would have missed on six decades of some of the most incredible life experiences yeah. that I never knew would be hatching. Yeah. So we, we just never knew, but it was curiosity. And so uh, what was the other one the, about the highlight? Yeah, the proudest. Moment. The proudest, the proudest. Um, there's a lot of those. Yeah. There's a lot of those. Uh, I'm just going to take the one that comes to mind. Yeah. When my first singer-songwriter album was done, it was called Strut, I had pulled together my resources. I got a rock and roll hall of famer to be my drummer and, and more. Um, I was so proud of me. Because I had to go through, this is a career jump. You know, I'm right. suddenly known as being in the secret, and I'm known as an author, I'm known for all these different things, and suddenly I'm going to be a singer songwriter. I applied marketing to it and defined myself as the world's first self help yeah. singer songwriter. Yes. That's me barnumizing myself. Direct my, response, yeah. That's me barnumizing myself as a musician. Yeah. There's all kinds of musicians out there, I'm just yeah. another one. Yeah. Unless I'm the world's first self-help yeah. singer-songwriter. Yeah. So coming out with Strut and holding the album, and this isn't it, but just holding the physical copy and realizing I did it. Yeah. I did something I didn't even think was possible. I proved again that there's nothing impossible in life. It's almost as good as the feeling as when you're and you're, you really realize there's nothing impossible in life. Yes. Um, you know, I do notice that with your marketing, it's really interesting. People should just pay attention to how you title things or form things like, you know, the number one hypnotic mark- marketer in the world or hypnotic copywriter. You know, you Barnumize everything. Yes. And, you know, I really appreciate your time, Joe. This has been fantastic. 
Um, where can we point people towards? Where, where should people check out? I know we mentioned the top of uh, the Tracked Money Now and the Secret Pair. Where should people check those out and, and any other resources? Oh, thank you. Well, the free book, Attract Money Now, is at attractmoneynow.com. Yeah. So they can go there. And the Secret Prayer and all my books are on Amazon. My main website is my name, joevitale.com, J-O-E-V-I-T-A-L-E.com, or mrfire.com, M-R-F-I-R-E.com. Yeah. And thank you. Great questions, great inter interchange. And any friend of David Garfinkel's yeah. is now my brother and cousin, too. Awesome. Yeah, if you're ever in Chicago, let me know. And should we reveal your discovery at the, the Barnum gravesite, or should people check out your book? I'll give them the short version of them. I think they should check out the book as it gives a longer, yeah. more spine-chilling uh, uh, version. And the audio program, The Power of Outrageous Marketing, I think is pretty hypnotic, compelling, yeah. and spine-tingling in itself For to sure. hear that narration yeah. because that was recorded close to the moment it happened. Mm. So I was still feeling that electrical charge. Yeah. But when I went to Barnum's graveside, I put my hands on his stone there and I felt an electric charge jump through it and I fell to my knees. And I remember staring at his little, this was his slogan for life, not my will but thine be done. And I was absorbing the energy, if you will, of P.T. Barnum. And when I got up, I knew what to do with my book. I knew how to write my book. I knew how to Barnumize the book. It was like I suddenly absorbed the spirit and channeled P.T. Barnum. Mm -hmm. I became Barnum. Yeah, yeah. Love it. On that note, Joe, thank you so much. I will let you get back to you. have a very short deadline on your next book. Back on the stick. Yes, and I appreciate your time. Thank you thank again. You. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire. Came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.